What if I told you that Claude isn't just generating text responses anymore, it's generating interactive React components. Look at this, I, I want to learn Python and instead of getting a wall of text, Claude is actually creating functional flashcards, UI components with state management, event handlers, and interactive logic. This isn't just a chatbot, it's a generative UI for education and it changes everything about how we think about AI powered applications. Claude isn't just understanding my request, it's making intelligent decisions about educational content. It's generating different card types, uh, creating engaging questions, and building interactive components that actually work. So look at this multiple choice card. It has proper state management, visual feedback, explanations, and this is a fully functional React component that Claude generated through a tool call. And everything persists. I, I can leave this session, come back tomorrow, and my entire learning history is still here. And this is production grade session management powered by MongoDB, Better Auth, and Claude APIs. All right, let's talk about how this actually works because this is where it gets interesting from a developer's perspective. Uh, so the magic happens here uh, with these tool definitions. And I'm using the Vercel AI SDK here, uh, version five, which is brand new by the way. And here I'm defining structured tools that Claude can call. So we have this generate flash card tool that we're defining. And here's what makes it different from typical AI tools. This isn't just returning JSON data. The tool is designed to generate UI components. So looking at the, the schema here, we have a basic flashcard or a multiple choice flashcard. We've got validation here for the multiple choice card and educational metadata like explanations. And I'm doing validation at the tool level. So if Claude tries to create a multiple choice question without uh, exactly four options, or if the correct answer isn't in the options, then it fails. And this ensures educational integrity. Now here's where the real sophistication happens. This isn't your typical chat endpoint. This is our chat route. And if we scroll down here to the actual prompt here, uh, first I'm telling Claude to think like an educator. I'm giving it specific instructions about flashcard types and educational best practices. But the complex part is the message persistence. So I'm using the AI SDK's version five patterns with session management. So when a user continues a session, I'm loading their entire chat history, converting between UI messages and uh, my custom chat message format, and then handling the complexity of tool call state. So here is the production pattern. I'm using the on finish callback to persist everything back to MongoDB after each AI response. So this ensures that nothing gets lost, even if uh, the user closes their browser mid conversation. So let's take a look at the multiple choice component. Let's look at what Claude is actually generating. This multiple choice component has proper type inferences, React hooks for state management, conditional styling, and educational UX patterns like uh, showing explanations after answers. And notice the details. It handles uh, disabled states, visual feedback for correct, incorrect answers, and the ability to retry questions. So this isn't just displaying data, it's creating educational experiences. So here's why this approach matters. I built this on uh, Next.js 15 using the app router, uh, using server components for data fetching, uh, client components for interactivity, and it's the, the same stack that you'd use for a production SaaS application. Sessions are first-class entities with proper CRUD operations, user authentication through better auth, and MongoDB for persistence. And so it's a solid foundation that demonstrates production patterns. And so why do you care about this as a developer? Well, first, the immediate application is obvious. Uh, every developer wants to learn something. Every person wants to learn something, whether it's a new framework preparing for interviews, understanding complex uh, algorithms. Uh, but Claude can generate learning content for literally any subject. Uh, but more importantly, this demonstrates patterns that you can use anywhere, uh, anytime you need AI to generate structured interactive content, uh, not just text, this is your blueprint. The tool orchestration patterns, the session management, the way I'm handling AI streaming with persistence, these production patterns you can adopt for any domain. Education technology is a massive market. The corporate training, certification prep, coding boot camps, now there's clear monetization potential for this application. And look at what you could build on this foundation. Coding challenges with live execution, collaborative learning sessions, adaptive difficulty algorithms, uh, and integration with existing learning systems even. And so here's what makes this demo special. Uh, it's not just showing off Claude's capabilities. It's showing how to integrate those capabilities into real applications that people would actually pay for. 
So three things that I want you to remember from this demo. Generative UI is the future. Stop thinking about AI as just text generation. Claude can create interactive experiences. Uh, production patterns matter. Uh, this isn't a toy. This is built with the same patterns that you'd use for a million user SaaS application. And education tech is just the beginning. The same patterns work for any domain where AI needs to generate structured interactive content. So if you're interested in uh, building something like this, everything is open source. Uh, check the links in the video description. The repo includes uh, complete setup instructions. And if you want to see where this goes next, I've even outlined the roadmap for adaptive difficulty, analytics dashboards, and advanced features that would make this a, a competitive commercial product. So the question isn't whether AI will transform how we build applications. The question is whether you'll be building the applications that define that transformation. So Claude, Vercel AI SDK version five, Next.js 15, MongoDB, the tools are all here, the patterns are proven. What will you build?